new faculty and staff, welcome to the York School. It's Sunday night, and my name is Justin Medved, and I'm excited to meet you all this coming Thursday. But I thought I would take a moment to get you excited about the year ahead, the school you've decided to join, and some of the really amazing things that go on in it. My name is Justin Medved, and I'm the Director of Learning, Innovation, and Technology. And I wanted to introduce myself as someone you're going to get to know, along with my team, and some of my thinking. And hopefully, after the next 15 minutes, you're going to get pumped and excited for what you're about to venture in on. So, I am an educator of over, oh geez, 12 years now. I started my career in Egypt as a geography and phys ed teacher, came back to Canada, did a four-year stint at York as geography and phys ed, and then went away to Thailand to do two years as a technology and learning coordinator, and then back to Canada where over time, in various capacities, I now have taken over the department as director, and this year for the first time we've restructured it as the Learning, Innovation, and Technology Department. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that, and hopefully you'll understand York's approach to technology and how it applies to learning and innovation. We thought that to reframe the conversation in this new age, it's important to think about learning in the context of the toolkit that is provided by the school, but also in the ever-changing landscape of technology. And so our thinking is that when these three things come together, then really awesome learning experiences happen. And it's my job to chart the course for the school and decide on the toolkit, but also how we support you and train you, the staff, to use those tools effectively. Because if the teachers don't know, then the students don't know. And you probably get and understand better than anyone how it's a continuous education cycle for everyone. So sit back, and for the next 15 minutes, I'm going to talk a little bit about school, its history, and some of the resources available to you. This Thursday, you'll get your laptop, and then we will begin the process of training you, supporting you, and making sure that you have the best possible tools available for you to get the job done, which is the teaching and learning of your students. So, the York School, what's its mission? It's to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who are engaged citizens of the world. That's straight from the website, straight from our mission statement. But of course, in order to do that, you've got to have good teachers, you've got to have good facilities and staff, but you also need to have good resources available to you. And so that's where technology comes in. Now, a little bit of history is that the York School has one of the oldest laptops programs in the country, and we are on to our 12th year. And we originally were a PC school, but now are moving towards a kind of dual platform model. And this year, for the first time, grade 11 and 12s will have the choice. And if they want to bring a Mac, they can. Um, So we're opening up these opportunities, and we don't know... uh, where that road will head. Maybe we'll be a Mac school, maybe we'll be a dual platform school, who knows? But that's kind of where we're going right now, and it's really exciting. And hopefully you'll see why. We have a strategic focus on classroom innovation uh, at the board level, from the head level, all the way on down. So for a school to be committed to innovation from a support and funding and resource standpoint is a pretty exciting place to work and hopefully you'll be able to see that. So what's our integration philosophy? And you, depending on where you've taught, there's lots of different models around uh, as far as what does good tech integration look like. But for us, uh, summed up in this paragraph I just took from the website, our students use laptops and tablets to help facilitate learning, communication, and collaboration. As a school, we continually seek to embed innovative teaching strategies, emerging technologies, and a variety of information sources into our learning environments. It is our aim to prepare our students for their futures in a rapidly changing world. So integration 
is totally connected to curriculum. And that's what drives everything. What you need to teach and how you need to teach it drives how you choose the tools that go along with that process. And so my job is to make sure that you are aware of all the best tools available for you and to you to teach any subject and to provide the support um, and teaching and learning uh, for you in case you want to leverage those tools. So we have a kind of process that goes a little bit like this. You've got an idea and together with the technology and innovation and learning department we provide support and sound pedagog pedagogical practices, the tools and the resources, and that comes some pretty great things. So let's give you a little taste of what's in store for you and what's to come, uh, you know, a kind of brief overview. And hopefully on Thursday, maybe you'll have some questions for me and I can get, your, I can get you excited. So at the York School, we've got... Um, smart boards and integrated sound systems in each classroom obviously a robust wireless environment everyone all the students from 6 to 12 have a laptop in the elementary school we have laptop carts and this year we're introducing Chromebooks grades 4 and 5 um, and just a whole host of electronic resources uh, at your fingertips we have moved in the last few years to uh, getting back into a media lab environment for the purposes of multimedia. So this lab in front of you is not connected to any one course. It's freely bookable by any um, teacher and it provides students with high-end multimedia making capability. Something that just the PC laptop can't do uh, and the Mac just does better. So this is available as a resource. We also have a multimedia and MIDI lab in the basement. This one you're looking at is on the third floor. We recently moved to Google as a platform for everything, uh, which opens up a whole bunch of opportunities that I will let you know about throughout the year. But this is our collaborative and communication platform um, and is just incredible, and we're only scratching the surface. Just to give you an idea of some of the kind of tools we have, you're looking at right now, you're looking at the, the um, upper school and middle school resource portal. And if you can see here, a whole list of services and subscriptions that we pay for um, that um, teachers can use, students can use. Same thing in the elementary school, we've got a similar portal, grade pages, and a whole bunch of web resources that are all kind of developmentally appropriate for what you need to do. We're always looking to uh, change this, land, this toolkit and your feedback and your expertise coming from new schools is always valued as you go, hey, do you have this? And if we don't, then we can get it. So let's meet the team. I am not alone, and I have a fantastic team uh, that help support the innovation and creative teaching and learning that goes on at the York School. And then I'm going to give you a lens, get a sense of what tools we have available on the hardware and then the software side. So under the Learning and Innovation Department, on the left-hand side here, I'll, um, I'll, we'll put this as learning. And then over here, we can have the information technology kind of side. So let's go here first. Kathleen Peak is our IT and support manager. She runs the IT department, and she is fantastic. She's been at the York School longer than I have and has a wealth of knowledge that is just unsurpassed. She's a fantastic colleague, and we couldn't do it without her. She runs the department, and she runs and oversees two fantastic um, People, Dan Taylor is our network administrator. He runs the network and keeps it all running. David De La Herta, he's our help desk and lead technical support. If the network isn't working, and wireless isn't working, and you've tried everything, Dan's the person to talk to. If your laptop's not working, and something seems to be broken, David is the person that you talk to. And our help desk is open all day, Monday to Friday, uh, throughout the day. And we encourage students to use to come before school at lunch and after school that's their time but of course you can come anytime as staff then on the other side the data side we've got Greg Smith he's our database developer 
we use something called FileMaker Pro as our back end, which is where you'll put all your marks in, report card comments, you'll do your attendance, and we just basically generally call it FileMaker. He's the one who designs it, so how it looks, operates, that's him. And then Douglas Peck, he is our database administrator, so he's in charge of our schedule, all the databases that we have, and some of the day-to-day -day running of the FileMaker Pro. These two guys are important, and as we get into reporting time, then you'll begin, begin to meet these guys, and they'll become more relevant. On the learning side, I'm excited to say that we are incredibly well staffed. So there's myself, who's looking out at the K-12 landscape for charting the course. Where are we going with regards to technology, learning, and innovation? What tools are we using? Those types of things. And then at each school, we've got a technology and learning coordinator. So at the JK, the 5, uh, the 1639 uh, campus, we've got Assel Sheikh, and he's the junior school coordinator, and he'll be, uh, he'd be a classroom resource that is bookable. And then at the middle and senior school level, we have Tim Cooper coming to us new this year from Brooklyn, New York, and he and Assel basically make up the teaching and learning and technology team. These two are employed to basically be available to you as resources, co-teaching, possibly coaching you, mentoring you, or just being there to try something out when you um, aren't so certain, or to meet and just um, pick their brain as to all of the ideas that they have or resources that they have at their fingertips. These are colleagues and they are teachers first, so they understand good teaching and learning practices, but also have that back-end technical knowledge and are incredible resources. And myself, too, someone that is bookable to come into your classroom. And when, it's at a, when we're all at our best, you find all three of us in classrooms all the time, working alongside you, helping you make and realize the ideas and kind of big dreams you have of what teaching and learning can look like. Part of this team as well are our two librarians. In the middle of senior school, we've got Sarah Bald and Sarah Spencer in the junior school. I won't get into the massive toolkit that they have available to them from ebooks to um, audiobooks to the online library, but also a huge and ever changing print library. Uh, these two people, ladies, are fantastic, and you'll get to know them, and they're great, great resources. So that kind of rounds out the, the teaching and learning. Uh, team, but I will, uh, on behalf of the IT department, I do want to kind of take this time as a little uh, announcement to say the goal of the IT department on the support side is to preserve learning time. And in a laptop school, that is can be tricky in the sense that, you know, we try and keep things running as best as possible, but students and the way their laptops run, sometimes they... Uh, run into trouble or things don't work. But nine times out of ten, nine point nine five times out of ten, a simple reboot will solve those problems. And what we don't want kids doing doing is leaving class for really any reason. It's easier to have them just lower their lid, break out a pen and pencil, and continue the lesson than to have them leave the class and go to IT and spend half an hour there. So we. Just want to impress on you from the from the beginning of your time at York that before you send them to IT, ensure that they restarted their computer because nine point nine times out of ten that'll solve the problem. I'll reiterate this throughout the year, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to uh, emphasize it here now. So the tools, oh my gosh, the tools we have loads. This isn't really totally up to date, but it gives you a sense of the kinds of things we have document cameras, GPS, digital cameras, audio recorders, uh, digital video cameras, SLRs, uh, scanners and digital photocopiers that scan and send you the email. In fact, we're just updating the entire fleet so everyone at the school will be able to scan anything and email to themselves in seconds. Um, smart Sentio responders, DVDs, green screens, VCRs, you name it, we have it. If we don't have it, we'll buy it. And then recently we have uh, just taken on two, like basically a full class set of iPads that's bookable. And um, without getting into the details, the ideas and thinking would be, oh, you've got an idea for an app? Well, then we'll order a copy. You'll test it out. And if you like it, 
then and you can see it being used in a class, then we'll order a class set of them and then use book the kits and uh, book the set and away we go. These things can be really powerful and can do some really amazing things. Music uh, for playing, science for dissection, you name it, I've seen it used everywhere. The laptop. I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail here, but uh, across the, the, the subject areas, as you can see here, we've got loads of software. Your laptop comes preloaded with what is basically the York School image, and I, and along with my team, have hand-selected the, the software that goes with it. Each subject has subject-specific software that you'll become introduced with and, and we'll train you on. But there's a whole bunch and it's fantastic so when you get your computer on Thursday take it home and just dive in and take a look at what's under the hood go into your program the start menu and just start poking around that's the best thing you can do you can't break the thing and um, if we don't have it then let us know and then we'll get it so one thing uh, that makes York unique is something called ta staff tech sessions and we're the only school in Ontario that I know that does this, and maybe even Canada. But what it is, is it's embedded PD for you in during an eight-day cycle. And we've had this now for about well, close to a decade. But as a school as progressive as, as ours, we've realized that without time to actually play with the tools, learn about the new tools, ask questions in a safe place, then things can stagnate. And as a result, we've built in time throughout your teaching cycle for that professional development. So once every eight days, you'll meet myself or Absolute or Tim in a cohort of, small cohort of teachers that we've pre-selected. Often it's people within your own subject area or kind of grade level area. And we have a, a curriculum of ever-evolving, ever-changing uh, topics which keep you up to date about the toolkit, whether it's Blackboard or Smartboard or the new Office Suite or audio and video, uh, you name it. We're topical and then we make an al a, real, a real effort to make it relevant, useful and fun so that you walk away inspired every, every session and can apply or have an idea of where you want to go and apply it you know, the very next day or the next class. And so there's a commitment you can see in this graph here says to always be learning along the uh, the uh, vertical axis and in the horizontal axis here you don't know what you don't know and we've built a nice culture around this and I think you'll enjoy these sessions uh, and in my mind these are these are nice jump off sessions they're jump off opportunities you're gonna get an idea and that's when you then book myself Tim or Afsal and then start exploring the new tool you saw, the idea you had. And we love it when uh, we have you know emails or conversations or chats that start with, hey, is it possible to? And then and that's where it all begins. So what's your role in all this? Technology, learning, and innovation at, at York. What's your role? Well, if I could um, plant three ideas in your head, it would be these ones. Number one, ask lots of questions. Please, please, please. There's so much to learn. There's the learning curve steep at York, but there's support ready, and it's there for you. So an email, a phone call, a walk down the hall, come find us, and we will help you. There is no dumb question. And you aren't the first new staff member to come to York. We've been there before, and we know, and we'll try our best to support, get out ahead of that, but please, don't ever get frustrated with tech. That is just not an option. There are people there to help, and that we they are really good at their jobs. So let us know. Number two, embrace technology and jump in. I would love, I would love nothing more than our, all our teachers to reach out to other classrooms around the world, connect with people. Our network is robust enough that you can Skype call, you can Google Hangout, you can try new things all the time. Be creative and be uh, and take risks. That's really what it's all about, and your students will love you for it. So, embrace it. And number three, dream big. Constantly be thinking about ways to connect with experts, other students, other faculty from around the world. 
to communicate in new and exciting ways with you and your students and have them communicate with the wider world across all mediums and have them how they communicate their ideas. And then collaboration. How can you leverage technology to allow students to collaborate with each other and you in new and exciting ways? Now, the Google Toolkit we've, we've put in place is really amazing for that, and we're pushing that, but there's so many tools out there that allow us to do and do these three things really, really well. And the last one is in, that isn't there is just create. Mm -hmm. Creativity and creating uh, knowledge, things, ideas. That's what we're all about. So that's learning, innovation, and technology at the York School. I hope you're pumped. We're excited to have you. We're lucky to have you. And I look forward to meeting you all on Thursday. Have a good uh, week, and I'll see you soon.